Okay, I'm here today with Ruth Smith. We're in the Gold Coast of Australia, a beautiful place of the world. Um, but I was talking to Ruth last week about a trip that she did to England. Um, Ruth, can you tell us a little bit about when you were in London and how you um, felt led to pray around the British Parliament? Well, it was in 2018. I uh, think it was November 2018 and uh, I was staying with some friends that live in London and I just felt led to go to that whole governmental area and walk around and just pray. I prayed in the spirit most of the time, which means that I didn't know what I was praying, but I know that I was praying the will of God and I, I spent probably quite a few hours walking around, especially around the Houses of Parliament. I wasn't able to get into the Houses of Parliament because Parliament was sitting and there was a big uh, lineup of people who were waiting to go in there. But I walked all around and I saw the people, the pro-EU people with their protests and they were calling out, waving their flags and I had a little chat with them. But most of the time I just spent that time walking around the Houses of Parliament Westminster and then I walked past Downing Street, prayed around there, and then I walked down towards, I walked around Westminster Abbey and prayed around there, and also was, was able to go down towards Buckingham Palace. So that whole area, which is quite small, felt led to pray all the way from Australia, God sent me, and I felt like it was an assignment. I didn't know that it was an assignment until I arrived there, but I felt um, very strongly just to pray in that way. And I was also able to spend some time with my two friends who work in London, um, praying with them as well for London, for the future of the United Kingdom. And I really feel that, um, that the prophetic destiny of the United Kingdom is to be a, a sheep nation. And I feel that the Union Jack with its, with its Christian crosses on is a very powerful emblem. And I feel like because of the missionaries that have gone out to all the nations of the world from the United Kingdom, that, that's going to be repaid. That's coming back to the United Kingdom. And God will not be mocked. And I know the heritage, the Christian heritage of, of England. I've studied a lot of English history. We really have a great love and respect for England. And uh, we will continue to pray for that nation. Right. Yeah. Now, you lived there as well for a while. Didn't I you? did live there in southern England when I was I grew up there as a child even though I wasn't born there but I did have a British heritage a grandfather uh -huh. who was British on one side a grandmother who was English on the other side and uh, so spent a lot of time in country England and so just developed a real love for England during that time actually two of my siblings were also born in England during those years so we just really love England and especially just have a heart to pray for for our motherland Right, so you're good yeah. English stock, so to speak. Right. <laughs> did you get um, Did you get to talk to any of the protesters at all? And if so, what was their reaction? Like, what did you say to them? Or how did they react? Yeah, I did talk to, um, especially, I remember one lady, and when I just said, talked to them about the process of democracy and how really what the people had chosen was, as we know, the outcome is happening right now. She was a little bit upset with me and told me that people were changing their minds and that, that right. um, I wouldn't know much because I was from Australia but actually I did actually study quite a few years of English history and it, and because I think God puts in your heart the nations it's, it's one of the nations that we really strongly pray for. Right so you were um, so she kind of objected a little bit because you weren't British maybe. She objected because of that and also because because of her beliefs of her beliefs that she strongly wanted to remain with her, right. but listen to remain with you. Right. Now, what was your view of Brexit? Did you, were you, you were for it, presumably, obviously. Um, do you feel like, how, why do you feel like it was important? I feel like, well, because we have a lot of discussions with our English friends who, obviously, they live in London and they know all the ins and outs of it a lot more than we do. We, we talk to them quite frequently, especially on on WhatsApp and, and on the phone and um, I felt like I just felt like the European Union was not in the best interest of England it was taking away a lot of uh, it was it's getting a little bit political here but the open borders that they wanted 
is not beneficial to England and also I felt like that it, 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 I feel like there's a lot of corruption in the European Union and a lot of money just goes to waste to bureaucrats and I feel like England had actually lost a lot of its own national identity by being so closely tied up with the European Union. I mean, do you have any views about how the European Union Union will evolve? Do you think it will be a good thing to be a part of, or do you think it will be a huge bureaucracy and controlling thing, maybe? Yeah, I feel like that's what it's, that's what it was trying to do. But I feel like as England pulls away, possibly other nations, I feel like maybe um, it could disintegrate into really not having a lot of value or power. That's quite possible. I feel like God can change things really quickly. Things that look like they're never going to shift, I believe through prayer, that God's purposes will be accomplished. Yes, right. I, don't, I, I think with, with England pulling out, the United Kingdom pulling out, I think it's going to really weaken the European Union. Right, yeah. Like yeah, I think it's good. I, and I find it interesting that, because I prayed there a lot, and I know other people did, and but God has sent people from other nations to pray. So I think that's a really uh, interesting thing. I'm kind of more. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of proof to me in some ways that it was on God's heart to do. So, so thank you for, for your input, you know, for all that you did there. Um, is there anything else that you feel was significant that you could message or that I you can tell us? that when you pray a walk around these very significant places, seats of power in the world, which God sent us on several assignments with different nations to do that. I feel and um, we've seen governmental shifts after that. So sometimes we don't even know what we're praying and we don't even know the hundreds, maybe even thousands of other people who are being led in the same way to pray for that nation. But we, I feel like with all our prayers joined together, especially when we're praying in the spirit, when we're praying the perfect will of God, that God's will is able to be accomplished. And when he sends people to nations, that's all you're doing. I'm not I wasn't there to be a tourist. I wasn't really there to look at the sites. I was just there with a divine assignment from God to do that. I feel like God probably sent hundreds, even thousands of other people to do the same thing. And so now we're seeing the fruit of our prayers. Right. Um, would you want to pray a quick prayer for England now, for the future, or not? Father God, we just thank you for England. Father, we thank you for the missionaries that she's sown throughout the world, Lord. And Father, we thank you for, for your plan for her, that, that she is called to be um, a light to the nations, Lord, and that she's called to have a revival in that nation, Father. So we just pray, we bless her, Lord, we bless the leaders, Father. We give them, ask that you give them divine wisdom from heaven, the leaders of the nation, especially the new Prime Minister, Lord, that you give them great wisdom, great favour, and Father, that any enemies of England that don't have their best interests at heart, that they'll be shifted out of the way so that your will can be done in Jesus' name. Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you very much, Ruth, and thank you for all that you've done and your continued prayers. And we'll be praying for Australia as well. Thank you. Thank you so much.